Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. It looks like we are looking at the graph of a line here, but what do they ask us about this? Um, the question they ask are what are the coordinates, what are the coordinates of the Y intercept? So there's definitely some language you have to understand before you can answer this question. First of all, um, when I ask about coordinates, uh, coordinates is like the address of a point. In this two-dimensional XY graph that we're looking at, what it's going to look like is it's going to look like parentheses with two numbers inside. An X coordinate, that's the first number is your X coordinate, comma, a Y coordinate. The second number will be your Y coordinate. Your X coordinate will tell you how far your, um, you are left or right of the origin, and the Y coordinate will tell you your vertical movement, how far up or down you are from the origin. Okay, so um, now it says what are the coordinates of the Y intercept? So that's another really important vocab word you have to know for the GED test. So the Y intercept is where your graph crosses to intercept is to cross the y-axis. That's why we call it the y-intercept. It's where my graph, so in this case my graphs of a line, crosses the y-axis. Well you can see the crossing point right here where the two meet is right there. So that's what they're asking me to do is find the coordinates of that point right there, the place where they cross. So let's take a look at that point you can see that from the origin I've gone up. Now be very careful, a lot of students tell me, oh look, I, if I count the boxes I went up one, two. And I would agree with you except for look, I have a two labeled up here on my, on my grid. I'm halfway between zero and two right now. Guys, what's halfway between zero and two? I hope you know that's the number one. So whether it looks like it or not, I've actually gone up one. Now, notice I write that one as the second number because that's a vertical movement. It's an up-down movement. It's a Y movement. And you might be saying, well, what the heck? What's my X movement? How far did I go left or right of the origin? Well, you can see that I didn't go left or right from the origin. I st went straight up. I didn't move left or right of the origin. I'm right on that Y axis. And so I'm going to actually ha have a zero um, for my X coordinate. And this is something that uh, you can see by looking at my graph. You don't have to have this memorized, but I got to tell you a lot of math students do have it memorized. They know that at the Y intercept, the X coordinate is always zero. And if you have that memorized, it makes your life a little easier, especially later in math. But even if you don't, you ought to be able to see that from my graph. Okay, great. So what is the, or what are the coordinates of the y-intercept? The zero on the x, one on the y, so the coordinates are zero, one. That's the point zero, one, my y-intercept. Great. If you have any questions about this or anything else, drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them.